Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II! Let's continue through the Castlefin basement to find the white mask around here somewhere. Let's see, that's a trap room up top there. And let's see... Yeah, I, I want to equip some more ethers just in case, although we are getting pretty close to the end of this place. I doubt Guy will need it, but I'm not really worried about temporary status elements here. I don't think anyone can, like, confuse us or anything, so that's not a problem. Alright, here we got Green Souls. We uh, met up with them before in a uh, guarded chest back at the Dist Cave here. And Maria is not going to be able to do a whole lot against them. But I can do a lot with my Holy Spell. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of how much damage I could deal with that. Probably enough to do what I want. But uh, let's go with uh, Barrier here. It doesn't really matter, I just want to work on my levels there. They are considered magic beasts, so the Demon Spear would be a little better against them. Although, if you get a first strike, then it doesn't really matter. No, actually, uh, these guys have very little HP, so... Yeah, I probably didn't even need to switch weapons with Layla there. But yeah, just like all the other soul-type enemies, they absorb all elemental magic. So, we should, instead, let's use Holy here, since it's non-elemental. That is, if I can get it to hit all enemies, there you go. That's more like it. I think I should be able to kill them with Guy here. Yes! I think they only got like 20 HP or something. So, yeah, really low amount there. Oh, they only got 6 HP. Okay. I think I, I was thinking of the yellow souls that have relatively little HP there, but all right. We're looking good. Let's keep on going. See, I think the path to the end is in the lower right, so I don't want to go there. Not just yet, especially when I've got new enemies to fight here. Let's see. We got ogre chieftains in the back there. We could have met up with them before, but, well, we didn't. And... They were in, I think, the Dist Cave. Let's see, they are ranked 4 enemies. So, let's see. What do we get? What do I want to do? Let's take out the Adamantoises first. I don't want to take out the Stalagmite up front there, because then the Yoga Cheatons can attack, and all they have to help them are their physical attacks. Okay, let's see. Yeah, why don't we go with Protect here, because this battle's probably going to take me a while to win. And I'll have plenty of time to work on Barrier and Holy eventually. But hey, hey, alright! First try on the curse there. One more hit ought to finish them off. But yeah, none of these guys have any enemy skills or spells or anything like that. So if these guys could actually hit me, they'd probably hurt quite a bit. But I don't know that they could be that, if they, even if they wanted. Okay, let's see. Now I want to uh, start going a little more on the offense here. So let's see. Maria. Let's go with Scourge on the Stalagmite. Even though they're not weak to it, like the Stalactites are. But it should be enough to kill them. But just in case, I'll have Layla help out a bit too. Because I did curse the Adamantoys, so I know we can want finish them off that way. Not really one shot, but, but all right there. Okay, and then we'll get a little work in on Holy for the guy there. Hopefully, I'll be able to get Barrier up to level 3. Well, Barrier and Holy up to level 3 by the time I get to the end of this place. Okay, let's see. So, wait, what did I do? Oh, yeah, I used Blizzard, then Scourge. Okay, yeah, then let's go with... Yeah, Thunder there. And I'll get a little bit of extra damage there on each of them, just in case. Let's see, Ogre Chieftains have 300 HP, so it's pretty easy to one-shot them when you don't miss on any of your hits. They don't have any elemental weakness, so they are considered giant-type enemies. Not that I have a weapon that can exploit it. I mean, the Ogre Killer can, but uh, not any of the weapons that I've got right now. Okay, so let's see. The path above leads to another trap room, so don't bother with that one. 
Oh, how are we looking here? Uh, okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, they didn't even touch us! Hey, the flame armor! Which actually could be kind of interesting, because you could... Uh, what is it? It's a heavy piece of armor, but... Uh, if I recall correctly, unlike all the other fire-type equipment, this one actually only resists fire, not the opposite element like everything else in the game does. I'm guessing it's, like, poorly programmed or something. A bug or whatever. So, something to keep in mind there. Alright, took care of a bunch of ogres. Hey, hey! Alright! Agility! Nice! Not enough agility to put the flame armor to use, but every little bit helps. But yeah, with the flame armor, this is about the time in the game where body armor is going to start having elemental resistances to it. And once I get my agility and weapon levels high enough, or, well, more accurately, shield levels high enough, I can actually equi start equipping some of that heavy body armor. Just not right now, but eventually, later in the game, I will start actually putting that stuff to use. What a concept! But all right, so what else happened there? Uh, oh yeah, you got the agility there, nice. So all right, yeah, let's just uh, re-equip there and keep on going. But yeah, the flame armor and other body armor, uh, the ice armor, they protect against their own elements, unlike every other piece of fire and ice equipment in the game. Okay, last floor of this place. Alright, took care of a bunch of stalagmites. Ooh, wow! Getting really lucky with... What is it? Like, five agility I've gotten in the one dungeon here so far? Holy cow! But, uh, yeah, with those stalagmites, maybe this part of the castle used to be a cave when they were digging a gigantic hole to put a basement into, and maybe that's how the stalagmites got in here. I don't know. But let's see, this floor has only one treasure... And it's right over here. Okay, this part is where it can get a little dangerous. So, let's see, how are we looking? Uh, oh, right, right. I want to have ice shields equipped here because, well, well, we'll need them. We'll need the fire protection there. Let's see, you've already got yours ready to go. And I think we're all ready to go to collect a better knife for Guy. Guarded by monsters! Well, at least there's only one of them. But alright, okay, so Rios here. These guys can use petrifying breath on your party there. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go to Mysidia first. So that way I could have Barrier ready to go. Petrifying Breath is Matter Elemental, or Petrifying Mist, I think it's called. But, uh, yeah, since it's Matter Elemental, let's see. If I get one hit of Barrier on anyone, that'll protect us against it there. You could run into a group of up to four of these guys. Holy cow! They are considered Magic Beast type enemies. So, yeah, the Winged Sword and the Demon Spear. That'll get the job done. Hooray! Got him. Well, at least it wasn't four of them, but uh, yeah, those guys can really get the jump on you and petrify multiple party members at once. Without barrier, you're screwed. But all right, so now that we got that new knife there, if I recall correctly, I think that's strong against water-type monsters, though I'm not extraordinarily concerned about that. I just want the boost in attack power there. And then for the remainder of the game, we are going to be using the Mon Gosh as a shield for Guy, essentially, that won't crush his magic... Uh, or what is it? Yeah, his uh, magic staff there. So that's pretty nice. And, okay, so, got that. Yeah, your evasion is still good there. Not doing so good on the weapon skills. Might have to start working on that eventually. But, well, Barrier and Holy are doing pretty good so far. But, all right, let's keep on going here. All right, took care of uh, another group of stalagmites there. But, let's see, yeah, most of these doors are trap rooms. Except this one. Alright, took care of even more stalagmites there. 
Against those Rios, uh, I should have probably had Guy attack there, because they were rank 5 enemy, but, well, I forgot about it at the time. Oh, well. But for defeating them, well, I guess you don't have to defeat them, but there is no boss here. We got the White Mask, anyway. Hooray! But let's see. Okay, so we got that, and, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, the Betray Fang that we got there, that will confuse, uh, I think, all enemies. Or maybe just one. Whatever it is. I never use it. So, yeah. Don't worry about it. But alright. So, we got our, what we came for. Let's get out of here. Rest up. Sell some excess inventory. And we gotta head back to Mysidia. In order to, uh, well, put the white mask to use there. But alright. Not too bad. Didn't have to use a, another ether. Awesome. I will want to change my setup a little bit here. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, sell some stuff first, and then we'll think about that. But, yeah, we gotta clear some inventory space, because the next area we're gonna go to has a lot more treasure. But, uh, okay, so let's see. Yeah, we don't need that. Never gonna use the flame armor there. I got ice shields to take care of that problem. Let's see, I'm gonna hold on to the gold needles for now, because you can run into Rios again in the next dungeon there. But let, as a random encounter. But, uh, let's see. I'm gonna sell the Blood Sword because I've banned it, but if you have not, hey, go nuts with that. It's pretty obscenely powerful. You pretty much would want to use it against any enemy with, like, more than a thousand HP. Because they usually have, like, really high defense to match with that. And the HP drain effect ignores defense. That's part of why I'm banning that there. Hmm, okay, so we got a cottage there. I'm thinking if I want to buy another cottage, because it might be useful coming up here. But, uh, I think we'll just stick with the one that we got for now. Okay, so, for Firion, I definitely want to have the golden shield equipped, because in the event that I get ambushed by some ghosts there. But, alright, okay, so we got that. I also want to have the ice shield on standby, in case I run into those Rios. But, let's see, with the Crescent Sword, I still want to hold on to that for later because it could be useful for some niche situations. Let's see, Maria, let's see. Okay, so you got your mallet there and an ether or gold needle, whatever. You know what, let's... Well, nah, it doesn't really matter. I could equip the gold needle just to clear an inventory slot, but it wouldn't really do that, would it? <laughs> But alright, okay, so you definitely want to have the Orichalcum equipped there, Mongoche, let's see, Gold Pin, Protect Ring, everything else is pretty straightforward there. And then for Layla, yeah, let's get you onto your Golden Shield there. And let's see, everything else is pretty straightforward, I think. Yep, okay, we're good there. Let's see, anything else that I need to get rid of? I don't think so. I think we're good to go. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with the one cottage there. Although I could use more, but MP is going to cease becoming a problem for Maria in the relatively near future. But alright, so let's head on back to Messidia then. Got a, well, like the one of the villagers was saying, you need to place it on the goddess statue over there. So this time I'm just going to take the boat. Let's see, in here, they got that uh, Mesidian Tower, but we can't get in there because we don't have the crystal rod yet. So just dock over here. Alright, took care of some ghosts there. <laughs> I like how Furion's just walking along very slowly because he got... Mini by them, but yeah, as you can see, Mini is a temporary status ailment. Though they almost killed Guy there because I just couldn't get that barrier off in time. Oh well. Although in this case, I don't think it would have mattered because, I, if I recall correctly, Stun is body elemental, which is a way high level barrier to protect against that. But otherwise, we made it through okay. Awesome. But yeah, we got to get back to town. There you go. Yeah, much quicker trip than the first time there. I like walking the first time going to a place 
and then, uh, what is it? And and then taking a quicker route to do that the second time after that. You gotta earn your flight points, or, well, uh, fast travel, I guess, in this case. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But, uh, okay, yeah, if you guys could get out of the way. Yeah, as you can see with the dungeon there, even though I had the mallet and the gold needles, I never needed them. So, yeah, it's not, uh, what is it? Not very likely to happen, but it could be a worst case scenario there. So I wanted to make sure I was ready. Okay, so we got the goddess statue. They were saying to use, what if I use the blank mask here? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess it, it, nothing happens, okay? Let, so yeah, we gotta put the white mask on the statue, and, oh, okay, that, that didn't seem to do much of anything. Well then, I don't think anyone else around here has anything new to say about that, or, or anything around here in general. So, what did the white mask actually do for? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 2! This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!